Traditional drug discovery isn't working, particularly for a neurodegenerative disease like Parkinson's. Clinical trials fail at an astronomical rate. Part of this is because drug developers um, have had to rely on mouse models whose biology is just completely different from human patients, and preconceived notions about what is driving the disease, which typically have ended up being wrong or certainly not holding true for every patient. We have built robotic technology that allows us to study human cells from the patients themselves, from large populations of patients that generate vast amounts of human data. For this latest study, we have brought in the power of artificial intelligence to analyze all of this vast data and uncover the features of disease that are simply invisible to the human eye. The goal of this study was to unlock new features and gain new understanding into Parkinson's disease. To do this, we brought together three unique resources. Our collection of Parkinson's cell lines, our incredible automated platform, and the data science capabilities of both the NICEF and Google Teams. We found that our platform was able to tell the difference between healthy cells and Parkinson's patients. In Parkinson's research, we often lack the tools to tease apart these minute differences, but here we were able to do just that, and remarkably do this in skin cells. What we're doing here is effectively taking the same technology that allows you to unlock your phone with your face, for cars to self-drive, or even more simply, for a computer to tell the difference between an image of a cat and a dog. What we've done here is replace those images with hundreds of thousands of images of cells that have been painted in unique colors. We've then posed the question to the, to the computer of whether it can tell the difference between the cells that came from healthy patients versus those with Parkinson's disease. What was critical for this to work was the introduction of both automated cell culture and automated machine learning pipelines. The predictions made by the AI would be unreliable if we were not able to use the volume of images that we had been able to hear, and that in itself would not have been possible without the automated capabilities that we have developed here at NICEF. We found that NICEF is especially eager to do the heavy lifting that makes for good science, to do the controls, to do the technical replicates, to understand the variance, to understand repeatability, to introduce automation, to minimize that variance. And, you know, people talk about that, but NICEF actually does it. And we've done tremendous work together, and we're looking forward to doing a lot more work together in the future. Now that we know we can detect the difference between healthy cells and Parkinson's patients here in the dish, it begs the question, can we make the Parkinson's patients healthy again? To that end, we were, we've begun screening tens to hundreds to thousands of drugs in order to reverse the signature that we are detecting. In short, can we make the sick cells healthy again? This work is really a key step uh, towards NICEF's goal of accelerating treatments and cures because it proves that this entirely new avenue for discovering features of disease is effective. Uh, I'm really excited uh, about applying this work to many major diseases in addition to Parkinson's, where we have seen traditional drug discovery fail, uh, and using it to discover drugs that actually work for the millions of patients uh, that are in need.